All right, well, we just came off of All In, which was the what, best wrestling show ever, I believe. It was 81,000 people. And now we're at All Out in Chicago. So, without further ado, I shall bring to the stage the co-creator of AEW and co-star of AEW, my co-star, RJ City. It's like a proper late night television show. He has to shake and then sit on his desk. He's got a really big desk with nothing. May yeah. I? Is this okay? Uh, yes, because he did not give me a mug. Thank you. I thought I would have a mug and a moon. There's my moon! This desk is chippy. Did you know that? This is hey! Oh, the desk is from Vegas. This Chicago style desk. Yeah, it's deep. Are we sponsored? Not sponsored. Yeah, that logo, round. have some decorum. I think it's just Freddie Prince Jr. only premiere streaming that part. Who is that? Is it like the cousin of Billy Pumpkin or something? You don't talk about Billy Pumpkin. Oh, okay, whoops. He's banned, he's cursed. Ah, well, anyways, yes, this is my desk. It's in the little logo here, this picture, you have cards, but I don't see any cards. Yes, well, I thought they'd be provided with a coffee cup in the skyline that's on the back there. And I'm pointing at this, no one on the, uh, yeah, but I've got this background that says AEW, which is like your show, AEW, Correct. that I co-created with you. Yes, the one person applauding. Thank you. Yeah. You don't need, no, no, don't listen. He said the show. No one said anything except for her, okay? Don't guilt applaud to me. I don't need it. You made your choice, and that's it. Now you're angst applauding. That's fine. Yes, they're feeling very uncomfortable for you calling them out. Yes. You know, I have a show after this on the other stage. Yeah, you said the main stage. The main stage. So I have no coffee cup. Yeah. I have this desk that is falling apart. Yes. And I am not on the main stage. Yeah. And as I was walking here, the, the, this, this runner, he said, I'm going to take you to Dan House's show. And I said, oh, okay. And I said, is he a wrestler? And the guy said, I guess so. Oh, well, that's a good summarization of it, I suppose. He said, I don't know. He has uh, things on his face and he tells jokes, he said. That's, I'm a comedian. That's right. You have one-liners and you bang them out. That's right. Unlike what Orange Cassidy, who does not have a catch for us. No. As we learned on Wednesday. Let's do a little setup punchline. I'll do a setup and you do the punchline. It's just a joke, man. Yes. We did not plan this. I'm so tired. I just flew in from London, England. I did not. I'm tired. I stayed at home. I'm injured. It's that anti-comedy that's really catching on with the world, and I think it's fantastic. Is that the game? Did we just play it? We did. I think we did it. Do you remember when we did Who's on One Line Anyway? Yes, it was you, it was Colin Mockery. Yes. Yes. We did it in the backstage of a Canadian place. Yes. And you had me do a baseball game. Yes, yes. Did anyone watch this? It was on the YouTube. You're thinking of when we did Who's On First. Yeah, that one. Wonderful Abbott and Costello. My other question is, who's getting married later? Oh. I don't know. Is they doing it in here, doing my show? I think, I think someone should get married. Who is going to do it? Not you, you have a swear word t-shirt on, you can get married right now. All right, well, yeah, maybe you, I don't know. I could marry someone. No, you get married. Yeah, well, I could get yeah, married, yeah. I'll find someone for you today. Okay, thanks. That's thanks. what we're doing. I'm really looking, the place I come to is wrestling conventions. Yeah, I know! Yeah. You know, he's telling I you. say, anyone in a black shirt, you just call line them up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, you know, let's bring this up here while I have the world. We constantly get yelled at that we only release black t-shirts. Right? Yes, yes. And then what happens, uh, we'll plug your shirt in a second because I think it did sell quite well. But what happens every time we do a non-black t-shirt? They go, why isn't this coming black? Yes, and then we sell five of them. Exactly. Except for the WrestleAnce t-shirt. Yes, Renee, Renee Paquette and I, the political mastermind herself, Renee yes. Paquette and I. She politicked her way under the show, you know. Yes. She's not, you know, whatever. Her internship's almost over. Let me put it that way. But we released a shirt called Wrestle Ants, and it comes in a cream color. And it's been selling like hotcakes all around the farmer's market. I put it next to some handmade soap. You ever see, you know when you go to, this is like, sorry, let me ruin the entire star cast for you. This is just like a really muscular farmer's market. Do they sell soaps here? They should. No. <laughs> It wouldn't kill them. The guy who figures that out will make a killing next year. Believe me. Wrestling flavored deodorants. 
Yeah, or just deodorant. No. Wrestling flavor deodorant? Yeah, what would tastes Dent good. Be? What would Danhausen's deodorant smell like? Ooh, bubble gum. Yes, you just smell it. It tastes good, it's delicious, nutritious. Mine would smell like animosity. Oh. You know when you go to a farmer's market, there's always the guy who sells the bee products. Beets? Bees. Bees? The honey? Yes. And the thing? Oh, the little sticks. Yeah, I don't think they're his. Wow. He's harvesting bees. Have you prepared? Wish I had some bees to get you right now. Have you prepared anything? No, I don't have note cards. You already told me this. I could write something on this, I suppose. I don't know when Renee's coming. I don't know when Willow's coming. I'm going to put Statlander through this table as soon as she gets here. Great. Yes, that was my mastermind plan. I was going to tell you about it before she gets here. What is your relationship with TBS? Seinfeld. Uh-huh. I like that show. It is a good show. I think also that's why I'm going to put Statlander through the table, is because she has not put on, you know, 24 hours of Seinfeld is really what TBS should be. Yes, absolutely. Do you have a favorite Seinfeld episode? The one on the bus. Yeah. The that, subway bus. Uh-huh. Go to Coney Island and all of that stuff. Uh-huh. Do you, you know There's what? a nude man on the bus. May I put you on the spot? Yes. He's got a great Seinfeld. Do you want to hear a Seinfeld impression? Yes. What is this? Do your Seinfeld for everybody. Oh, this poor woman's dying here. Give, give them a little Seinfeld housing. Okay. Do the music. What is the deal with airline peanut? Bosco. That's it. I did it. Yes, thank you. A round of applause. You know, people are paying for this show at home. Uh, there's one guy and in these the back going, like, there's three days of this? No, it's not. I only agreed to one show. You're doing two. I am doing two. And I Maybe more. I don't know. I got roped into this. Yeah, wait. What time is your show? Is it six? What do you mean? You've got tea pockets. No, I'm you? looking at this clock. I asked for a clock as well. It is 5.12. You've wasted approximately 12 yes. minutes. Yes, it's at six. It's when his ends come over and see some prepared material. And I have some special guests. Who are they? I won't even announce. I told them mine. You should do one. You have good guests. Mine oh. are not good, so I thought, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. let's make them surprises. No, yeah, so that's why they show up and they're disappointed. Exactly. Good. Now I'm curious to know who they are. Tell me. Come on. We spoke into the microphone. I, well, Tito Santana canceled. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, and I think we should cancel Tito Santana, huh? Hashtag cancel Tito Santana. Oh Let's get it trending. God. Let's frighten his family. You, you know what? Let's frighten them. I, I think that's yes. what <laughs> The Santanas. Do you have any questions? Hey, he just returned. Santana. Yes. Are you thinking of Carlos Santana? No. Oh, you're thinking of Mike Santana. Yes. Of LAX. Yes. yes. He just came back to the triumphant. Did he win? No. Oh, it's crap. Been... But don't bring that up. And then Ortiz came back. Yes, he had a nice hat. He, which was like... Okay. Brand new hat. Can I criticize the LAX return? Sure. The hat and the return was too much for me at once. But now Jazzwares can release the Malibu Stacy version yes. of Ortiz with new hat. Yes. True. Which is wonderful. But I think it's also nice, like, in the AEW universe, there can only be one hat guy. And like Jake and Hager it? gave his hat, he turned oh, it in yes. to Chris Jericho. He said, I can't do this anymore. And Ortiz went, now's my chance. Now I have a question. Okay. Did JR ever give up his own hat? That thing is like glued onto his head. Is it? Yeah. It's so tremendous. if I try to, hey, Renee is yelling at you. I can see her right now. She's flipping wow, him off. Renee is here, everyone. You know what? Let's bring Renee on stage. Does she have some 90s music style to play? Hello, Renee. I think I'm, Hello. I'm thinking I'm supposed to move down. Oh. Yeah, you move. No, this, no, that's talk show this, tradition. This is supposed, supposed to be a down. couch. I, Thank I you, want Renee, you to get the full experience. Coming of... to the show, we don't have a live band to play you on, but we... You guys have, like, a water? You got a Red Bull? Is he, he brought the Red Bull. We're not sponsored. Okay. So he cannot show it. It's really good to see you. You too. How are you? Bring it in. Yes. Hey, bud. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, you know what? We're going to pay... This wonderful person in the front row who was the only person who claps and cheers when they said they're hey, AEW. <laughs> Which I, I... You know, I actually... I have a show after, right text. after this, You're I have a show. You're texting during my show. Number one. Number two, oh, really? he is yeah. not prepared one thing. Who has? Not I one. haven't. Yeah, see? And by the come see my show He's, at 6 o'clock. I've been writing it for weeks. I'm going to come to your show. show with my, zero plans. My untitled stage show, I've been workshopping it. I'm going to come to your show. I'm going to sit in the front row. I'm going to text the whole time with the screen brightness on and the sound on, and then I'm going to fall asleep and snore. How does that sound? I love it. Yeah. 
Sounds good to me. You have a show. I do have a at show. At 10 p.m. tonight? Yeah. You're the awesome. new uh, AEW Women's Champion. You won it in All In, yes? Uh, not me. Soraya did, who I'm going to be hosting this podcast with her. It's a podcast? Yes. Is I it mean, the oral sessions? No, today's not oral sessions. Oh. I know. We're all too tired for that. She right has now. not done oral in a very long time. Been a minute. <laughs> Married life, baby. Okay. You, you are a menace, my friend. He is a, a, I saw him come in the back. He had, a, he had no sleeves on. His hair was like He didn't want my shirt to wrinkle. He looked like the cover of some kind of like Harlequin novel. And yes. He's wearing a dress t-shirt with a tank top underneath oh, and no so, socks. And I think we could use a little cleaning of the shoes. Yeah, but well, they were... The better look sorry, yeah, they're, they're hideous. I'm sorry. I'm, this is off the rails already. Here's a question. This is how we open StarCast. This is Good Night Housing. It started at 5 p.m. What time do you go to bed? 10 p.m. I'm not going on past 10 p.m. I don't know how Who is the time? It is well I think all three of us go to bed early. It's way past my bedtime. I don't know. I'll be talking in riddles. Yes. Like also, real TV shows are filmed during the day, as we should all know. Very true. I'm not filming this at 11 p.m. I'm not a maniac. <laughs> and this will be syndicated, you said? Oh, yes, I believe so. I believe once we get TBS champion on here, Chris Statlander, I shall demand it. R Renee, yeah. have you heard his Seinfeld? Oh, my oh. God. It is tremendous. I've heard your Seinfeld. My Seinfeld's okay. okay his is like out of the it. park. He already made me do this. Do you want to hear his Seinfeld? Hey! Oh, my God. Get up there. I'll do it. Uh, <laughs> 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 I was in the pool! That's tremendous, Done. huh? What the fuck just happened? That was uh, Seinfeld. Okay. Uh, so I do a line from Seinfeld, they applaud, RG puts me on the spot. It is a That's wonderful great. time. That was, that was great. Let me guess, you're in a lane. Yes. Right? I, mean, I think you, I have that's... to be by default, I guess. You know, everyone always asks me to do this tequila dance. I think I'm just gonna come back with the Elaine. Just do the Elaine? I think the Elaine is what I'll come back with. <laughs> Can we... Can we? And it'll get the TV show canceled at the moment I do it. Can we segue to one legitimate story I heard? Oh. Yes, yeah, sure. As you, as you know, I was a friends with the late Paul Rubin. Yes, I do know. Wonderful Pee Wee Herman. Yes. And I heard this story from, from David Arquette, so it's got to be true. Oh, uh, probably. Hey, where's he at, by the way? He's probably in a pool somewhere. You want to water? Yes. yes. Thank you. There you go. I had heard that David Bowie in the late 80s, asked Paul Rubens to open for him as Pee Wee Herman. Wow. Yeah, isn't that tremendous? That is, bold ass. Paul's response was, No. David, Pee Wee is not an opening act. <laughs> oh! He's not wrong. You know, I like how much he says no. He told you no about gear once, yes? Yes, David, and, well, David and I used to team together. It was David's idea to have Pee Wee Herman inspired trunks. Yeah. They were going to be that gray plaid. We had a sparkly bow tie on the front. They were the nice. crotch. And Call I it the say, crotch. You know what? That's what it was. Before we make these, let me just text Paul. Let's get his permission. Let's do good business. A blessing. So I texted him the, the design. I said, if you're okay with it, just let us know. And he wrote back in all caps, no. <laughs> was there any follow-up? No. Why? There does not need to be any follow-up. Fair enough. I got it. So I said, David... No. He said, okay. So we get to LA to do, do the math. He pulls these tights out of the bag. I said, David, what are you doing? Paul said no. Pee Wee Herman said no to Pee Wee Herman tights. That's the one no. And he said, don't worry about it. We, once he sees them, he will love them. And I tweeted this picture out a while ago. We were in David's dining room wearing them. That's inappropriate. Yes. And we tried to call him. He wasn't picking up. That's the second time. So you're just standing time. there, mostly nude, in David Arquette's kitchen. Yes. And Star it wasn't the first six. time. Yeah. Yes. And uh, then we sent him the picture, and, and he got really, really mad at us. And I made David apologize, and we have never worn them ever again. So you didn't wrestle in them. You just sent him the photo, and he said no again. Correct. So you sent him a nude? Yes. Oh, my God. Hell yeah. Which he rejected. Correct. Twice. He did not solicit it. Let me put it yes, that way. Yes, wow. <laughs> How it, have you been? What's going on with you? How are you? Well, you know, I don't know if anyone knows this because I get asked every single day. The ass boys injured me. Yeah, uh, yeah. With their devastating finishing maneuver. The, what is it? 310 to Yuma? Isn't that a TV show starring Christian Bale? Sure. Yes. 
Well, anyways, they hit me with that move. I was about to win the tag team championships at Revolution. And the moment I landed, they tore my pack. So those ass boys have gone on to ruin the name of Danhausen temporarily. I'll come back, I'll curse them, and I'll take them back for them. And then they have joined the Bullet Club glo yeah. Globe. Gold. 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 Yes. yes. With uh, that cardboard man and uh, <laughs> hard style juice man, or whatever his name is. What's his name? It's a hard That's about juice. Right. Hard juice Rockinson. Yeah. yeah. Him. <laughs> him in this. Uh, what is his name? Jay Cardboard, what's his name? Jay White. Jay White. Jay White. And Juice Robinson, yeah. And I think he came while I've been gone, yes? Yeah. What a menace. I know. The so cardboard has replaced Dan House. We need you back. So sorry, you what happened to you? You separated your shoulder? No, I tore pack? my pack. So when you landed, yes. what was the sound you made? Ah! And then you knew in that instant, my Yes, well the, actually I knew I lost in that instant because I got hit with her finishing maneuver. You know what? I'm gonna say it's the most devastating finishing maneuver on the uh, roster because it took me out. But do you, do you have a scar to show for it? Can we take the shirt off and see what's happening? Yes, I suppose so. Let's Has anyone seen this? I don't know if anyone's seen this. Isn't I'm this exciting? I'm a degenerate like RJ City wearing a tank top underneath this. I have to be revealed now. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, everybody get your cameras out. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to get you some vitamin E to it heals it. Yes, I think that would be quite nice. Yeah, I'll get you some. And how does that make you feel? Are you like, yeah, Scar, or you're like, I should get another tattoo? What? No, 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 no. What are you talking about? No, I'll get vitamin E and I'll douse it in it. It'll heal. It'll look quite nice. Because it looks like a slice. And, uh, you know, I think it'll be pretty good. Yeah? Can I also be a little forward? All right. And compliment you as you took your shirt off. I noticed you've been growing a little chest hair. Oh. Yeah. Rich. And I. Thank you. Oh, it's all it's really Manhausen, wow. as far as I'm concerned. You said I think Manhausen. Great. Right. Yes. Manhausen. Yes, that's right. This is not presented by Manscaped, though. That's nice. Yes, thank you. So Does I've your wife new, like it? I believe so. I've got a new scar. I've got this patch of chest hair. I'm like Batman. Does anyone want to hear him do his Batman? Get up there! Batman! This is the. Uh, this is how we choose to kick off Starcast. Is with you making me do impressions because I didn't write anything to prepare. <laughs> Shout out someone else. Who do you want to hear? Who can oh we get? God. This is. Who I'm not no comedy you? impersonator. This guy is a regular Rick Little. No. Name someone. I'm gonna kick you off my show in eight minutes. Gilbert oh, Gottfried. You know Gilbert one. Gottfried. Yes, he gave me a cameo for my birthday there once. And no. how did it go? Happy birthday, Danhausen. <laughs> that one wasn't bad. <laughs> That's what he sounded like exactly. That was good. Rest in peace to him, too. He is yeah. wonderful. Yes. Oh Let's name a free. He okay, played great. a bird. This is going very smoothly. Yes. <laughs> well, anyways, I don't know what to talk to you two about. I just asked you to come on my show to waste time so that yeah. I can get all the monies. That's all we're doing. Yes. yes. You're gonna what are you going to talk about on your show? I couldn't tell you. I also haven't prepared And that's anything. tonight at 10. I've got a couple hours to think of some stuff. And yours is at 6, and you're still on my show. Mine is in you're less than 40 minutes on another stage, oh, though. Okay, okay. I'm on the main stage. This, oh. You understand what I'm saying? Am I on the main stage? Uh, uh, that remains to be seen. You know, I, I would know. like to go on the record that I was going to be on the main stage until I refused to do my show at 11 after. This is nice, though. The graphic looks great. I said it's I nice should have a moon. Desk. I don't have a moon. I'm not mad at this. No, you know, I'm going to have... A moon would be good. Yeah. Yes, a moon would be good. And give me no yeah. but, so I'm going to have Willow and Statlander on later. What is, in, what, what is this? Uh, you missed the whole beginning. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yes. See, yes. The desk came in. He showed everyone that it is falling apart. Uh, and uh, now we are here re-explaining it to waste further more time so that way all of these people's fine money can be wasted. Great. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Yes, but what I was Thank saying you. is we have Willow and Statlander coming on, and I think I'm going to pit them against each other. Great. Because they were, what, being friends? Who do and you like better? Do you like Willow or Statlander better? Willow. Okay. I'm going to put Statlander through this table. I've already said this. <laughs> That was my plan before those ass boys injured me, was I was going to come back and, you know, as maybe, soon as Statlander came back. Maybe you could be the new TBS champion. I think I should. And then we'll get to what we want. Something yes. to think about. May I, like I ask it. you a question? Uh, sure. I don't know if you heard about this, but as I was coming here, I read that Dennis Rodman oh. is going to be on Collision tomorrow. He's a so collider. Why? He's a collider. Dennis <laughs> Rodman is a collider. W what do you think he's going to do? I think he'll have green hair, probably. He'll do green hair, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Who is, yes. Is anyone going to collision tomorrow? Yes, that's good. Hey, uh, all of you over there, you have to leave. 
because you did not clap. I'm just kidding. You can stay. You paid for my show. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, anyway, yes. So what do you, why? What do you think he's going to do? Do you have the secrets? I was just trying to set you up the, for, for some more material. Do the Wrestle Ants have some, some secrets of what Dennis Rodman's going to be doing? I, I am I desperately know. trying to do a Hey W with Dennis Rodman. Oh, please pull that off. I'm have trying you, very hard. Have you hard. started preparation for that? Yes. Okay. Because Good. I think it was bullshit that he was on Celebrity Championship Wrestling and he won it even though he was already a wrestler years before what that. What the hell is that? No yeah. one saw that. You do, you're telling me you don't watch Hulk Hogan Celebrity Championship Wrestling? I literally have no idea what that is. And neither Dustin do. Diamond, Danny Bonaducci, Dennis Rodman. I've never I'm heard of it of either. Celebrity Boxing. It's so close. Or Surreal Life. <laughs> These are all on the same show. Yeah, pretty much. It was all in that they era. They all fight each other on every single show. Yes. <laughs> I've never seen it. All right. Do we have anything else? Does anyone have know. any questions? Yeah, do we start oh, fielding yes. I questions I suppose we can do some audience? questions for our wonderful guests before they have to go. Somebody, anybody. Throw us something. Is anyone coming to my show at 6 o'clock? Yes, that's good. Okay, good. Is anyone coming to Renee time at 10 p.m.? Yay! Soraya, our new AEW Women's Champion. We are pairing up. We're going to do a hell so of a show. You are the new AEW's Women's Champion. You just said so. Yes, I am. Yes, good. Co-champions. Yes, co-champions. And who do you plan to defend to first? I, anybody. We Is it Mercedes? Tell me. You can tell me. I won't tell anyone. I mean, we saw that crowd shot. I saw it. We saw it. Who I was that guy sitting next to her? <laughs> I don't know. Who was? Do you know who that was? Yeah, it's, yes, I do. Who is okay? it? It's uh, Maria Menounos, his husband. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know what, that, what the, yeah, that has to do with anything, actually. <laughs> it's helped me. No indication of what that meant. You ever just I knew it wasn't going to really land, but nice. that is who it was. Yeah. You ever see a guy, you just ever see their face, and you go, that person has more followers than me. <laughs> That's what I did when I saw that man's face. I said, I don't know what field he's in. He's got more now, followers than I me. I did notice that air about she him, seemed yeah. to be scouting the House of Black. And possibly Billy Ass. Do we think Maybe. that's who she's going to target if she decides to come into AEW? Maybe. I mean, I would like to see it. You, want you would, to see we it? would like to see Billy Ass versus Mercedes Monet. Yeah. Or Love Mercedes, it. you know, versus the House of Black. Yeah, any of them. Yes. Any and all of it. Bring, watch her. Bring her on in. I love it. Yeah, well, that's, you know, that's, that's about all I got on yeah, that subject right there. Me too. I, uh, I, I kind of got to go. You gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta, gotta get ready. I have to prepare. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Are we all five thirty. Is when, that okay? Uh, well, he, this guy wants me to go. Yeah, he's yeah, waving he's already. Saying, See you later. He went. That's fine by me. Stop setting him up with what bunts. <laughs> Not home I runs. I leave before I start talking about Bronson Pink Show and all that business. What is you that? Know? You can fill him in. It was okay. lovely seeing you. I'll see you. Thanks, in RJ Bye. City. A pleasure. See you later. Bye bye. Bye now. Take all your drinks. Take them go all. Go see him in Blue Beetle. This Dust weekend. off your shoes. Hey, are you in Blue Beetle? He didn't even iron He's his pants. Jesus, no, what is going on You've with You've got these man? pants with a bunch of pockets on them. What's the deal with that? You know what? I bought them at Target this afternoon, and I feel great about them. Yes? Yeah. A little yes, Target pant. Give it up for the Target pants. pants. You know? You know, one time I forgot to pack a pair of pants. What happened? I showed up. I had no pants, and I had to do the same thing. I went to Target, and I bought a new pair of pants. Was, it actually yeah. might be these pants. They're not? Oh. Hey, look at those wow, boots. Wow, that's nice. Check those out. So Hold on, great. let's see the other side. There we go. Oh, look at that. Good. That'll got, curse everybody in the room. Don't look at it. Yeah, long, these I'll be look cursed. like wrestling boots to me. That's weird. Those are great. Ah. Love it. So what else have you been up to? What's going on in your life? Fill I bought a in. dog. You did? Yes. Did? His name is King Neptune. I call him Curly Man. Was this the Black Poodle? It is. Oh, okay. He's a menace. He bites me all the time. Yeah. The, I, I bites bet. me in the hand. He runs up things. He tries to eat my, my sandwiches. Oh, shit. From the counter, he hops up and he says, give me a sandwich. Does he do any tricks? Uh, yeah, I just told you, he eats my food. Oh, okay. Yes, it is. Great. Yes. Wow. So we got a dog, you're healing, you've got a I'm scar, healing. we've got the chest hair. I bought a giant alien, a life-size alien. Why'd you do that? Because I wanted to. What do you mean? Are you trying to bring the aliens to you? Yes, of course. It's a welcoming committee. Okay. This is, could have been an interlude to Chris Statlander, but uh, you know who's not here? Yeah. Chris Statlander, because he's a menace and I'm going to put her through a table. When is she supposed to be here? Well, I think everyone was supposed to be here at approximately 5 p.m. Oh, oh, Chicago well, style time. 30 minutes late. Yes, so yeah. now we are here. I was here on wonderful time. Wonderful people. You were here early. I know. Because the proposed order was RG City. But here we are. Hello, Chris, and you. Yeah. But now you have saved Dan Housen. You have saved these wonderful people. 
We've successfully made it through a half hour of this. Are you going to ask me a question? What are you doing over there? Do we have any questions? Anything? I mean, throw anything at us. You want advice for something? This young lady right here. Yes, go ahead. Ask a question, please. Oh, yes. That's nice. Hope I'm coming back soon. Here's another. I'll address it right now. I get asked every day at these meet and greets, mm -hmm. when are you coming back? And when are you coming back? I'm not telling anyone. You know what my favorite part as a child was when my favorite got injured? Huh. When I was just watching and then their music would hit and they'd come back as a surprise. It really is the best part of professional wrestling. Or if wrestling. there's even videos. I love it. Maybe videos that, you know, lead up to the comeback and okay. then you can anticipate it. Okay. Who knows? Yeah, I love it. I, I can't wait to have you back. I miss seeing you around. Yes, you know, everyone does, I think. I, I, I am agree. the wonderful, you know, best person in the locker room. Yes. Yes, see? Yes, you know. I yes. buy everyone, you know, pizzas and stuff. It's nice. Uh, every I mean, time. You honestly walk around and curse everybody pretty often. I disagree. You're a bit of a curmudgeon from time to time. No. But what I will say is this. I will be back before the end of the year. Okay. Yay. I will give you that. Yay. I've been telling everyone else 2099. <laughs> Just, ho Just wait, waiting with bated breath. We Just never know when case. it could happen. Uh, are you going to change up your style when you come back? Is there anything different that we can expect from Danhausen when he steps back into the ring? Yeah, I think I'm going to try to wrestle this time. Okay. I think that would be good. I, yeah, I think. You, what, do you want to see Danhausen wrestle? Yes. Oh, interesting. You don't ever get enough credit for, for the damage that you can inflict in the ring. No. We were, we were starting to get a little dose of it, and then... And then... Ass boys. Ass boys. Ass got boys you. took me out. Now I have to come back and get my revenge. Yes, ass boys got your ass. Yes. Yeah, I suppose we could say that. That's we can fine. Say yeah, it. it's a late it's night okay. television show to be edited and CGI'd for the midnights. Where is this airing? Wait, this is airing on uh, possibly TBS if I get my way. In the premier but it is on the premier network. streaming network, which does not help anyone because they're already watching if they know oh, this. Oh, okay. So we're already here. And these here. people are already here. We've arrived. We are Who do we got? They're pointing at me, telling me someone is here now. Oh. Oh, yes. The winner is here. Okay, let's welcome to the stage. Can we welcome to the stage now? Let's do it. We welcome Willow, I think, I hope. Woo, 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 woo. Where's she coming from? I have no idea. Oh, my God, from the crowd. Hey, Willow. Yes. You go uh, whichever way you want. It is my television you show. Do whatever you want. Come Look at this. In. I'll move down Stuck one. in Chicago style way, traffic and coming in one. with a smile on her face. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Willow! Who is... Who is your friend? You can sit right here. I heard you saying something about you want this on the TBS network, right? Yes, yes, yes. So I was like, who else would be better to bring than the TBS champion herself? Oh, my God. So uh, I brought her, Kristen Statlander. Where is she at? Chris Statlander. Is Statlander here? Oh, my God. Oh, All right. It's go time! If RJ City was here, welcome, by the way. Yeah, cool eyeball. Stat, you look uh, great. Beautiful hair day. You look great. It's, 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 I'm gonna leave soon. You're already ruining my show. With what are you doing? With all this female energy, yeah, and I'm tall gonna go boots on. Ooh, very no, oh, you have tall boots here. on too. What do you? You have regular shoes. That's good. I had to I put mean, on a tall platform. boot. I don't really know to wear a wide leg pant yet, so. All right, so out. we have the inaugural strong women's champion. Correct. Yay! Yes. What a feat. You Yay! defeated Mercedes. Yes. Yes. It was quite wonderful, I saw. Thank you. And you, what did you do? What did you ever do? Why are you on my show? I uh, tore both my ACLs. Mm. Ah, that's right. This is the injured show. Yes. But you defeated first ever person, Jade Cargill. Yes, the first ever person to ever exist, Jade Cargill. Yes. Quite a feat. Probably the strongest person on our roster. You heard her here Which first, folks. You, you would argue with. Now I have a question. What is that? Oh my God. Yeah, what was that? I don't know. They were that, very angry that, that you did this. Like, what was that? Now I'm going to call you out for a second here. Me? Chris, yes. Okay. You cheated, huh? To win your championship. They put out the challenge and I accepted it. Is that my fault? You cannot, you know, bet on anything Mark Sterling does. He's a, a buffoon. Hey, that's his fault, not mine. I think you took advantage of the situation. I did. I did take advantage of the situation. That's and good I won business. The title, so. But this is good business. I'm good being business. attacked on my own show. Come on. How do you feel about I'll, this? I'll come to your defense. Yes, yes. He's just doing a little, like, devil's advocate. Yeah. 
I think I think Chris is quite beloved. I would hope so. So I would he, say so. By everyone besides Dan Housen. He's, he's playing devil's advocate so that you can even further explain why you're so loved. You know, so you can, like, debate against. Yeah, tell us nice why you're so loved, Chris. Yeah, Let's do see. that. That'll be good for the let content. Me, let me tell you all the ways that everyone in the world loves me. I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. Well, anyways, I wanted to invite you two on because you're both wonderful champions, defending champions. And, uh, I mean, I lost the strong title, actually, but yeah, well, I, know. But I, I did, you I did win the though. Owen Hart uh, You did win tournament. that, too, yes. You and Ricky Starks. Yeah, for Ricky, too. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, wow, he's a cheater, too, just like you. Listen, I don't have a championship, so I'm going to leave. Yes, oh, yes, Renee. Sure? Oh, I could never. I could never impose. Oh, my hey, gosh. I'll take you're, it. you're the best uh, hey. live person's weight that I've ever used, <laughs> so... Touche. There you go. Renee, got through it. it and give it to me. Go okay. ahead. Uh, mm. Yes, then I can you go do 24-hour sign It looks so nice on notes. her, though, you know? It looks great. Listen, I'll let you guys all take care of business. All right. I'm yes, going to moonwalk out of here. All right. So good to see you. Good to see you, too. Congratulations good to see you guys. show later. Enjoy tonight, guys. I'll see you guys a little bit later. Ladies, bless Lovely things. seeing you, Renee. See ya. Bye, Renee. Now, you two, I have a question. Sure. When are you going to challenge for that title since you lost yours? Um, that is a great point. Uh, at this point, I'm still very, very proud of her. I'm okay. letting her kind of defend it, uh, you know, uh, solidify her like legacy. Um, and then once I feel like she's had a really nice reign, then maybe I can be like, hey, friend. <laughs> I'm going to take <laughs> what your about title. Me? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, when whenever, my turn. whenever you're feeling ready, I'm ready for you. Oh, well, there it is. Uh, so you nice said it. Friendly sports competition. No, no, no. We have enough of that with MJF and Adam Cole bowling together. Yes. I'm yes. not <laughs> dealing with another one of those. No. So you just said we were friends first, though. We were yeah. friends true, for a long time. But yeah. you, you. So you think you're better than her? Um, I didn't say I'm better than her. I just think it comes down to the fight that night. Whatever happens. We'll see who's the better competitor yeah, I have that a, night. That's fair. Maybe you can have a really long match, and then you can put out an open challenge right after when you're like 5% health. And then maybe you can come out and challenge for that title. You let me know when that day comes. All I right. think I'll be that's, the lawyer. I'll be your lawyer that night. No, you won't be. I'm going to yes, have Dan House I will be representing with Chris me. Statlander at whatever the biggest match you have coming. You know what? You wrestling Sunday, yes, against Ruby Soho? That is correct. Hey, I have an idea. Call me. Okay. Noted. Do you I'll, need I'll a manager on Sunday? No. Do you think you're going to win? Yes. Oh, okay. There's that confidence. Now we ask the colliders who's going to be there Saturday. Who's going to All Out on Sunday? Yes, yes, that's wonderful. So you shall see Chris Statlander. Versus Ru Ruby Soho. Yes. Ruby Soho. And that's it. Hopefully. If I get my way, we will have a new champion. <laughs> Who's booing? You're cursed. Get out of my show. Right. Now, wait, what? Were you going to say something? Go ahead. No, I wasn't. Oh, my God. You come on my show, you have nothing to say. You're berating me. I'm not berating you. We are friends. I just want everyone here to know that Dan Housen said that on my return, he wanted to put me through a table. I already told them this. Oh, you did? Yes, well, and then I got injured and I could not follow through with my plan. Yeah, well, on your return, I'm going to put you through a table. You can't do that? that. You cannot do that because I will have a protector. <laughs> um, I, I, I feel like if no deal you can that. make that threat to her, I feel like it's fair. No, I fair. disagree. I think that uh, you like money? I, I am a person who lives under capitalism, you know? So, so yeah, I I've like it. I've got a lot of money, allegedly. <laughs> I will give you some type of money <laughs> to be my bodyguard, so that way this cannot happen, and then maybe I'll take that, and then I'll maybe give it to you, and you can defend it. It'll be nice. It'll be a nice time. I think Christian does that, doesn't he? I think we could do that. Pretends that a dinosaur is the champion. I do have to say, sitting here so close to both of you, you like both have such gorgeous eyes. Oh, Just as a, wow. I don't know if you can all see from the crowd, but I good for have, you guys. Yeah, you have one eyeball. Look at that. But we all have a, a nice smile too, I believe. I believe best smile in the business. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Next I'll to tell me. Tell my dentist. Can you zoom? Yes. Whatever. Get out of here. All right, anyway, All right. So what's not? No, don't do that. Oh, uh, well, you told us to get out of here. I was like, that? Listen, <laughs> it's not against you. 
medicine. You want me to leave? No. Listen, what's next for you? What do you plan on doing after uh, you defeat Ruby Soho this Sunday? Take a nap. Oh, my God. You cannot say what everyone says on this show. This room is hot. My God, I want to take a nap, too. There's too many lights. And what about you? What do you plan on doing now that, uh, you know, it's unfortunately you do not have the strong championship? What is next? Um. I tried giving you a plan. You denied it. So now we must do more. You know, when, when there's no, like, very clear plan, all you can do is try to rack up some wins, turn some heads, I always plan to make some people smile, hopefully. Nothing matters and, uh, anyway. And then beat this one, you know? There oh. it is. <laughs> All right. Confirmation. Love. I'm creating friction in this friendship because I cannot have two of these happening on television at one time. <laughs> two well, friendships on TV at once? No. Yeah, that's no. too many. Unheard of. It is. Too many friends. We, uh, the wrestlers should be smacking each other. We could do a parody of the show, Friends. What? <laughs> You're Ross. Yes, anyways. <laughs> oh, the crowd liked that one. That's just, just Dan Housen insulting you the whole hour. Uh, yes. Thank you for coming to my show. This is about every time we've ever seen each other. This is Dan true. Insulting me. That's right. Everyone, I'm, I'm the bully backstage. Everyone's a bully to me backstage. No, don't say that. Everyone. Hey, I have a question. What? You've been around TV a lot lately, huh? Yeah. How is Orange doing? He's so tired. Yeah? He's so is he pretty weak right now? What? Is he pretty weak right now? I thought you said, like, is, is he, he weak? <laughs> is he no. I heard no, leaked well, like he's meat, an, I suppose. He's a carton of orange juice yes. leaking out. Um, I think he's physically not at his best, but mentally and emotionally probably not at his best. But Hold on, let me write this down. He, he has a strong will power. Yeah, he's doing it. What would you say if you had to rate his health meter at? You would rate it at right now. None of your business. Why? He's my friend. I'm just asking because I'm concerned. And then you and him are going to be friends on TV and then you're going to fight him? What? No. Why would I do that? Hmm. We're good friends. We're best friends. We're, we were uh, in a tag team title match, you know, before I got hurt. And then he replaced then me with a bunch of other match. people. Yeah, he replaced me with Bandito and some other people and you. And then, uh, yeah. you know. Actually, I was there first, so. Yeah, I disagree. But nevertheless, thank you for the info. I appreciate that. That's not why I had you on this television show, to get information, backside information from uh, about Orange Cassidy's health. Anyways, uh, I think we've had enough of you. I've had enough of you. You've had enough of me. Yeah. All right, well, anyways, this has been Chris Statlander and Willow. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Thank you, Dan Alvin. Thank you, hey, thank you so much. I hope to see you win a championship. Are you, are you a handshaker? Yes. There it is. Thank you, folks. <laughs> You dropped your phone on my show. Now the world has seen it. Yes. Thank you. All right, how much time do we have to waste now? Don't forget your things on my show. I'm getting there. Yeah, good, they're friends again. All right, now we shall open this up. Please, yes, peace be with you too, my friend. What are you telling me, two minutes? Is that what he's saying? Oh, yes. All right, so we got two minutes left of Dan Housen's wonderful show. We shall open it up to a Q&A for Dan Housen. How does that sound? You have to ask questions, otherwise this whole crowd is cursed. And you have to... Yes, you! Does anyone have a microphone? This will make it much easier. And then I won't have to go off camera. Here, I actually, I have many microphones. Do I have a handler, though, who can uh, run over there real quick and give this wonderful person a microphone? Oh, thank you. You're a nice blazer to you. Are you gonna come back at all out and help Orange Cassidy defeat John Moxley? Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do so, but I do think he'll be a little bit lower health by the end of that match, don't you? Possibly, I don't know. But I don't think I'm gonna come back and help him win. I think he can win on his own. He's been doing pretty good. Who else we got? Let's see it. I cannot see anything because there are these menacing lights in my eyeballs. Oh, I see. He's just putting people on the spot right there. I love this. There's a question from you. Who was your favorite wrestler as a child? Favorite wrestler as a child. Let's see. I like that Roddy Piper fellow. He seems like a nice boy. He's in some horror movies too that I like. It's pretty good. Yes, I am number one. Thank you. All right, we got about a minute left. We got maybe one more, two more question. So who has it? Who's 
What's the worst curse you ever put on somebody? The worst curse I ever put on somebody. Oh. Hey, uh, well, actually, it was one time. It was it Tony Nice, I believe? Because he beat me on my debut because they cheated. Mark Sterling distracted me. Let it be known. Let the record show. Mark Sterling distracted me, and I was hit with the finishing move immediately. But I had cursed him already. And then Hook came out. And then Hookhausen was formed. So I think that was the best curse. And the worst one for Tony Nice because then we went on to defeat him and become an undefeated tag team. Who would like to see Hookhausen again, by the way? I get asked that all the time. All right. Well, I think we're about up with time. So this has been wonderful. Thank you for sitting through this unprepared, unscripted hour. And you may go see RJ City right now. You may go see Renee Paquette later. You may see Chris Statler and Willow Nightingale, I believe, on, are they on Collision tomorrow? Are they in a six-man? Yes. So then do a watch uh, All Out on Sunday as well. Thank you, everybody. Love that Dan Housing or be cursed.